Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, I'm just in the bathroom, you know, because this sort of way you can also have a better light level here. So, anyways, as far as we're flying the computer build, I'm kind of at a crossroads at this point because, although my uncle kind of says that I should just simply. Forget about Windows 7 and just simply just join the whole Windows 10 thing, you know, in, in, in a way, um, I just don't really like Windows 10 simply because of, um, the whole problems with, like, the privacy stuff, you know, how, how, like, listening to your conversations and all this sort of stuff like that, and the whole thing with Cortana and all that, you know. That's everything. I mean, that was just main, my main reason of all that, you know. I mean, I would have probably would have uh, gone right ahead and had Windows 10 if it weren't for the whole privacy concerns, you know. That's mainly the reason why why I avoided avoiding the whole thing with the plague and all that. And then the fact that I had, like, um, a huge problem with it as far as last year when they were forcing people to upgrade to Windows 10, you know, as far as that goes. And then it went, and then one person had actually had to sue Windows, sue Microsoft, just to get a reimbursement, and they stopped doing that. And that was one of the reasons why I just didn't want to do Windows 10 for that matter, you know. It was mainly for all the other little things, you know, just, I mean, as far as that goes. And the truth is, is like, I could still use Windows 7 for like three more years and, you know, I figure by that time, maybe I probably will go to Windows 10 or go to the next Windows software, the Windows one that they have, you know, but... It, but if it wasn't so um, intrusive or anything of that sort, you know, and, and that's just one of my main concerns about Windows 10 and all that, you know. Plus, as I could have said before, that my main reason it took so long was because of having to remodel the house and all this sort of stuff, and so, and, it's not like I was really asking a whole lot, you know, as far as like it came to that. But, uh, but I think in, in some ways, I just, I just wish it wouldn't take me so long to do that sort of thing, you know. But, but then again, part of it was my fault, for that matter, you know, that that I wasn't really looking at the help of the help in the right places as far as I. And then on the other hand, it's kind of like, maybe I kind of don't really need my uncle's help as far as it goes and all that. Especially if he's kind of out in his own thing and not really getting my input as far as that goes. And, and not um, hearing my concerns about Windows 10 and all that. You know, and although my, my dad seems to quite understand my concerns and all this sort of stuff, you know, and then the, it's the same way with, um, mom seems to quite understand, but doesn't quite fully understand, it's just more or less they're kind of placating to me in a way, you know, that sort of stuff, and, and a lot of times I think I could pretty much could tell when someone's just placating, you know, and, and, when they're not being that sincere about it, you know, I mean, it's like, I can hear the way that it is by the way they talk, you know, and how they're kind of placating to me and all that, you know, I'm not that stupid, you know, I just act that sort of way around people, you know, because sometimes people just think Aspies are really, really socially awkward or naive and all that kind of stuff, but yet, I just observe everything from afar and 
and get a huge grasp on all those type of things, you know. So, anyways, um, as I was gonna say so far, you know, it's just that I feel like I kind of have to face the music with all this kind of stuff there, you know. You know, because my uncle had put had put a lot of energy as far as researching and all of this, and and this sort of thing of me not wanting to do do um do it his way and all that sort of stuff is just gonna upset him a little bit. But it's it's not his build; it's my build. That's one of the things that's going on here. It's I'm just simply letting him. Let him kind of gain some insight. I just did not want him to be in the driver's seat as far as that goes, you know. And but this is just something. Uh, this is just something that always seems to happen every time when I try to have someone help me on a certain thing. Is that they tend to go overboard. They tend to take the driver's seat of this sort of thing when I'm the one that's in the driver's seat in this. They're just simply passengers or in the back seat as far as that goes. It's I could go on and on about about this sort of thing, you know. You know, I mean the last time this sort of thing had happened was about two years ago when when I was gonna go to that one bigger uh pool party that I just needed needed some swimming trunks and that's all I needed was swimming trunks. I didn't need to have an entire wardrobe change just like that. And the thing was mom went way overboard and all that sort of stuff, you know, and like like going that far to buy me sandals and buy me all this and all that when I just needed some swim trunks. That's all I needed. You know. And I just got really upset with her and all this sort of stuff and said things that I shouldn't say to my mom and all this sort of stuff, you know, and it's, I don't know what it is. It's like either I'm not saying it right enough and I'm not being assertive enough or something like that, but it's like if I become a little bit more assertive, then I become aggressive. Aggressive or downright mean to certain people if I'm just being aggressive. So it's like I'm trying to find this balance of being assertive or or whatever, but a lot of times I think I just became a little bit passive around people because I just didn't want to hurt their feelings. When I should have just simply said, fuck that, you know, and, and should have gone around and said these kind of little things to mom and dad or or those teachers that had all transitioned at that point or that... Or that one doctor and all that, you know. But certainly I probably would have hurt their feelings and all that sort of stuff. But but then again, I shouldn't be so, like, careful about that kind of stuff. Because these people are adults. They can take a few knocks as far as that goes. And take a couple. Take the matter of, like, getting their feelings hurt. At some point, and they'll they'll get over it and all that. They'll get over it, and and they're not gonna hold it against me simply because I'm saying something that they don't want to hear. That sort of stuff, you know. Not that I really kind of wanted to do that kind of stuff, but but I feel like I have. I feel like I've been erring on the side of caution way too long when it came to that, you know. I mean, as far as when it came to, um, what's the thing, uh, adult transition, you know, I hate having to go around and constantly rant and rave about adult transition, you know, but when it came to that, you know, it's like, I just simply only came here, came to that program just simply because I just wanted to have SSI and then get a free ride and that's it. I didn't really want them to go around and go around and uh, dictate what classes that I can or cannot take or what jobs that I can or cannot take or they did not them want to stir me into a path that I just had no interest or or don't really want to do that sort of thing. I mean I don't know what it is. 
work with these people and like that, you know, but honestly, I feel like I have to kind of be a bit more assertive when it comes to that. And yet, I think I used to be a bit assertive and all that sort of stuff when I was younger. I think at that time, but I think what changed was probably, was probably that whole seeing Ally and Wanda or whatever those, uh, and then being on that Decepramine or whatever that one was called. If, if I could possibly put blame something or some, something or someone, you know, other than just myself for that matter, you know, but. And then maybe a couple of other things at that point were that might have made me lose my voice in a in a more uh, figurative or uh, metaphorical sense at that time and about back when I was out of high school at that point, you know. And I think that was just really what was going on with me at that time, you know, that here I was, here I lost my voice and and. And because of that, I kind of let people take advantage of me, you know, this sort of stuff, you know, even they had the right intentions, you know, but, but as they say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, you know. So, um, anyways, I guess that's, uh, probably until next time.